Not many things can transport you back to the 1980s, quite like thinking about the home you lived in during that decade. Some of the things are classic 80s, while others are more subtle. But nonetheless, all of these home features remind us of our past, especially with so many of them gone forever. Although garage door openers were invented during the Great Depression, it would take an economic downturn in the 1970s to usher in a new era of consumer spending during the 1980s. During this decade, homeowners across the country began to install automatic garage door openers. Luckily, during this time, wireless technology was now also available, so the doors could be opened using a remote from inside the car. Sewing machines used to be a standard feature of pretty much every home, and most of the time they could be found in the laundry room. A sewing station was necessary to mend holes, hem pants, and to even sew your own clothing. Today you'd be hard pressed to find a sewing machine in any home. Cane wood and chrome accented chairs were all the rage during the 1980s. The Brewer Chair Company produced many of these unique furniture pieces, with them being found most commonly around the dining room table. Today, seeing these types of chairs takes us right back to that decade, and you might also remember how the wood on the chairs would splinter or get holes in it, which made them less comfortable to sit in. Popcorn ceilings once dominated the ceiling texture business, and the 1980s found it to be a staple of most homes. Not only did it cover up plain flat ceilings, but it also made imperfections disappear. Some popcorn ceilings even had sparkling glitter mixed in to make an even bigger statement. Nowadays, removing these dated ceilings are a priority when you renovate your home. Televisions in the 1980s were built large and boxy. Much like the 1970s, they were used as furniture in the living room, and they often took up lots of space. These console televisions also often came with a remote control to make flipping through the growing number of cable channels easier. In the bedroom, TVs were becoming smaller and more portable, so they could be set on top of a dresser or even hooked up to a new video game console. Electric typewriters exploded during the 1980s. The emergence of expensive home computers made these cheaper word processing devices much more appealing. Electric typewriters were more forgiving than the manual typewriters, but their time was limited. By the end of the decade, personal computers began to make their way into homes everywhere, and the keyboard, along with computer software, quickly replaced those electric typewriters that were so popular. Even the walls in homes made a statement during the 1980s. With the emergence of the colorful 80s aesthetic, maybe a little inspired by the Rubik's Cube craze, wallpaper made it easy to add pops of color. The walls featured pretty much all the colors in the rainbow, and may have also included geometric patterns. Floral patterns were also hugely popular, and they went perfect with the floral comforters that covered many of the beds during this time. Recipe boxes are now considered family heirlooms, but during the 1980s, they were an active part of the kitchen. Before the internet digitized all recipes, special family recipes were stored safely together in a wooden or tin box located on the kitchen counter for easy access. The often stained and worn cards were proof that they had been used religiously throughout the years. During the 1980s, cooking and baking during the holidays always included flipping through the old recipe box to find that perfect dish. Long before cell phones, many families had to share just one phone, and that phone was often attached to the wall in the kitchen. This made private calls difficult, but if you were lucky enough to have a long cord, you could wind yourself into another room. It's not surprising that during the 1980s, kids wanted their own telephone in their bedroom. 
A popular Christmas gift for kids during this time was their very own novelty phone, which saw them take the shape of popular cartoon characters. How many of you remember recording your answering machine message over and over until you got it just right? Answering machines with cassette tapes was the only way to know if you missed a call while you were out. The blinking light with a display that showed you how many messages you had was the first thing you checked when you walked back through the door. Not every home had floor-to-ceiling mirrors, but you probably saw it enough in movies and on TV. Floor-to-ceiling mirrors were pretty common in homes because they added a feeling of space. But the 80s took it to a whole new level, with mirrors on everything. It seems that just about every room had at least one large mirror hanging on the wall. Nineteen-eighties parents invested a lot of money in a set of encyclopedias that filled their kids' brains with lots of knowledge. There were facts on just about every subject, and these books were perfect to help with schoolwork. The only problem was they were outdated nearly as soon as they were printed. Nevertheless, many homes had a special shelf to display these prestigious books. With the expensive cost of buying a new set, many households had outdated books, but they were still a classic 1980s fixture. Popcorn and watching movies at home go hand in hand. But in the 1980s, as video stores were popping up everywhere, families began to use electric air poppers more and more. Although people had microwaves, the microwave popcorn would end up burnt. So instead, people had air poppers to make big bowls of popcorn for movie nights. Whether you were watching a TV movie filled with commercials, or had just rented a stack of movies from your local rental store, air-popped popcorn was a necessity, especially in the homes of the 1980s. If you enjoyed this video, click on this playlist to watch even more. And as always, thank you so much for watching.